Hi everyone, I've kept putting this live off. It's um, what we call a get ready with me live. So basically you see me getting ready with my makeup, what I put on, how I put it on, etc, um, etc. Et um, I'm not expecting many people to be on and watch it, so I'm hoping you go back and watch it at some point. But if you do jump on, say hello. I haven't got much time because my roast dinner's in the oven and then I'm popping out for a drive with Steve. So, my first port of call always is my um, liquid foundation in scarlet and my concealer in scarlet as well. And I use my foundation brush. Now that I've told you before, I always fill the middle up with foundation. And then dab some concealer around the edge of the brush. You can use different colours for contouring, it's entirely up to you. So it just looks like that. Then I just do, I'm using a mirror down here as well, so. Splodge there, splodge there, splodge there, bit on my nose, bit there, and then I blend it all in. All over, all over my eyes, everywhere. And bear with me while I blend it all in. And obviously you don't have to use this much. But you can see the red pigment on my skin's toning down already. Nice to actually do a live during the day rather than in the evening. You can see I haven't even done my brows yet. I see the full works today. The only bit I didn't show you was me blow drying my hair. what's easiest, me watching myself in the iPad or me looking down in my actual mirror. Good thing is my mirror has LED lights all around. <laughs> I need to get myself a hair pad. Right, so that is my foundation. And my concealer all blended in like this. Hello Siobhan. So my foundation's £30 that I buy and my concealer is, I don't think that's £30, I'll have to check on that, I can't quite remember. I even do over my lips because it gives it a nice coat, base coat for when I'm applying lipstick or lip gloss. Right, I'm going to show you what I did with my eyeshadow the other day. I'll do that first I think. So I used my palette 5 the other day and I did the brilliant silver all over my eyelid and then in the corners I did the victorious pink and just blended it in. Right, so I'll start with the Brilliant. Everyone does their makeup in different orders. Remember, you can make makeup as dark as you like or as light as you like. So you'll be using a white eyeliner of your eye make it paler or concealer. Hiya Emma. And to darken something up you can put a bit of grey with it. So that's the brilliant over my eyelids and I'm just going to get the victorious. Literally do a V there. 
and then blend it in. Thank you, hon. This is my favourite palette. This palette five. And like I said, it looks there so much darker than it actually is when you put it on. I mean, you just get a nice little two-tone eyeshadow. Put that on quickly, you can see it. Oh, no, not working there. Just gives a bit of a different effect. No, yeah, still can't see it. I have to take a picture, you've probably seen pictures of it. I forgot to put my selfie light up here. Okay, so that's my eyeshadow done. Make sure I've got no marks anywhere. And then I'm going to use my Moodstruck Precision Pencil Eyeliner in a nice polar, nice blue colour. I don't normally wear coloured eyeliners, it's normally always black for me, but I like this one. I just do my lower lash line. I think I'm pulling faces, I can see out of the corner of my eye. And then I've started taking to doing my top lash line, so excuse me while I do this. There we go. That's my eyeliner done for today. And my eyes water. Ugh. And now to finish my eyes off, I've got to have my 3D mascara on. Remember I got a special deal on with my 3D mascara at the minute every four people and you get put into a hat and one of you will win either an eyeliner, a lip liner or a lip gloss. Okay, so I always do the top of my lashes and then up there like that. You can make it as thick as you want. You can use an eyelash curler beforehand. Some people use the um, hair dryer trick, which if you don't know about that, I'll uh, put up a video later if you'd like to see it. It's basically someone just putting on the mascara, getting a hair dryer and blowing their lashes up. I haven't tried it myself, I don't know if I will be able to try it myself because of my contacts. <laughs> I can just see it now, my contacts drying up when I'm doing the makeup and it will go everywhere. I'm just putting the 3D fibre on. I'm going to let that settle for a minute before I seal it all in with the gel transplants again. But I'll start on the other eye. the fibre lashes on this one as well. And I'm just going to go back to this side and seal it in with the gel transplant. Hello Helen, hi Michelle, oh there's a few of you now, 
comment if you're here for me. I'm just going to do my last eye. Finish the transplant gel on this one. And that is my eyes done today. Right, let's move on. And I'll do my brows next, I think. So, like I showed you last night, my brow obsession palette. I've got it in dark brunette to black. I don't use a stencil personally, but you can use a stencil. It's entirely up to you. So I'm going to use number one, first of all, to fill them in. And we'll do one at a time so you can see the difference. Remember you can go as dark as you want with these. As thick as you want. I like to try and keep them looking as natural as I can. And the idea is when you're putting it on to go do gentle strokes in the motion of the way your eyebrow hairs go. So I've filled it in. And now I'm just going to use number two. Oh, I'm not very good at this. Number two to edge it. You can do it the other way around if you want. Edge your eyebrow first and then fill it in. But I find it just as easy to do it that way. And that's one eyebrow done. So, then I just get number five and go over the top of it with the wax to set it. You can certainly see why they call this an obsession palette. And if this takes your fancy, it's £30. Talking too much and I've gone wrong. There we go. Nice and easy to correct as well. There we are. And one brow done. And I'll just do me another one quickly. Got to do my mum's brows later, she's itching to give this a go. Unfortunately, since she had a hysterectomy six, seven years ago, she lost a lot of her eyebrow. So she hates how thin they are. outlining them now There we go, fairly even. And just finish that one off. With the wax. There you go, and that's my brows done for today. 
And if I really want to finish it off, I can just use the matte highlight just over there. That's number three on the palette. And then number four, which is the light goldy one. Give it a bit of highlight. How am I doing on time? Now, to save myself looking so pale, what I then do is get my sculpting trio while I'm waiting for my luminizers because I want to try them out at some point. Sculpting trio, you might remember them coming out before. Just get a bit of dark. A bit there. I love this because it gives you the guidelines as well. You know, I don't go crazy with my contouring, but if you want more, you can. If you just want to get a bit of shade and shape to your face like I do. I need to get myself a hairband. <laughs> if someone comes on now they're going to look and think, what on earth is she doing? but not much and then I always use my rose water and a sponge just to blend it So it doesn't look. I've got great big brown marks anywhere. But it gives a bit of a darker tone to certain areas of my face. You can just see a bit of a darker tone there. Mm, you can see better with that light. And then I could use the other ones, but I'm not going all out today. I just use the very last one and put a bit of a shine onto my nose there. And just into the corners of my eyes. And that's that bit. And then I normally put a tiny bit of blush, just to add a little bit of colour back to that line. And I use it's sweet and sweet and I don't want a lot I just want a tiny bit just enough to give me a bit of shape to my face there we go and to finish it all off today I'm going to wear some lipstick but I'm going to use my translucent powder to keep it all in place, which is new and I'm loving it. And just pat it all over and it just sets your makeup. Once again, pop it over your lips and it will keep your lipstick in place. Right, so I'm going to use the Pompous Lip Liner with Loaded Opulence Lipstick.
I'm just literally going to line my lips today. You can fill them in and everything. Do, um, what do they call it? Um, ombre look on your lips as well, but I'm rushed for time, so. It's just you find your lips a bit. There we go. That's my pompous lip liner. And to finish today's look off, loaded. And there we have it. Might get ready with me. Wasn't as bad as I thought. I hope you liked it. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you want any of the products or want to ask me about any of the products, please drop me a message. But enjoy the rest of your Saturday and enjoy your evening if you're going out, partying, clubbing, whatever you're doing. And enjoy tomorrow as well and have a restful weekend. And I'm not going to be on tomorrow because we're going to look at the caravan. But I'll be back Monday. All right. Bye.